If it wasn't a benefit or, you know, didn't save us time, you know, there's no need to do it. As soon as drones were kind of coming out, they kind of said, look into this, see how we can use this. Is it a benefit to us? A few years ago, back in 2015, we decided to look at drones for bridge inspection. The type of drones that we use are specific to structure inspections. So as such, they're actually a smaller drone. These are only anywhere from a a pound up to five pounds. So they're not very big and they're easy to fly and uh, they don't require closing down lanes of traffic. It's just making it safer for the inspectors, you know, anybody performing the job. You're eliminating some of the slips, trips, and falls. You're also, you know, not setting up a ladder unless you absolutely had to. We use cameras as inspectors anyways to get pictures of bridges and in any um, deficiencies that we see. And the cameras on the drones typically are a lot better than our handheld ones that we have. Plus we have that ability to take video so you can get a whole look at a bridge and not just what the inspector chooses to take a picture of when and where. Uh, you're looking for any kind of deterioration in the concrete, like a crack, a, a spall, uh, any kind of exposed rebar, uh, rust staining, signs of water leakage, any other you know defects that you know might be in there. Typically, we inspect bridges either by on the ground through binoculars, which isn't ideal. Um, if we can be closer, we'd like to be. We also have underbridge inspection vehicles, which are called snoopers, and we do have a fleet of those at the state but those are also limited into where they can get into because they're, they're big pieces of equipment. A snooper truck is a vehicle that lifts a person over the rail underneath the bridge to inspect the beams, uh, the bearings, any kind of, you know, pier cap, anything that you can't access from the ground. Without a drone, how would you be inspecting a bridge like this? Either one way would be a ladder. Um, another way is using a snooper truck, which, uh, you know, cost two hundred fifty thousand to seven hundred thousand dollars. So not a lot of you know counties have them. It's more cost effective to get at um, locations that you weren't able to get to before. Because I mean, you know, this this pier here, you're looking at twenty some feet. I mean, there's not a lot of people that have ladders that tall to get at you know these areas. If we've seen anything over the last four years now that we've been doing this, it has just gotten even more exponential. Um, a, lot, a lot more entities are interested in it now in MnDOT, um, not just bridges, but also construction is interested in it, surveying. There's just a lot of other areas that would like to use this technology. There's no need to um, reinvent the wheel on this. But always and foremost, go through the Office of Aeronautics first before you do anything drone related for work. Because there are a lot of rules that people don't realize between flying a drone recreationally and flying it for a business purpose. The rules completely change. There's a lot of stipulations and a lot of paperwork and, and things to know, a lot of rules to follow.